D3. Ah, oh, nay. Memory serves. It's, it's a fine one. I think it gets a sequel way down the road, which is much better. Already more excited for next week's, or by next week, I mean like next week, Monday, uh, email, um, which is video games, which, like, the, like growing up, that was one of, like, the big ones, the, like, the holy pantheon of strong bad emails. Like, every time me and my friends would get together to watch the new one each week, we'd also have to, we'd have to rewatch. We'd have to rewatch. We'd have to rewatch, um, Japanese cartoon, crazy cartoon, Trogdor, obviously, and we had to rewatch video game. This one's Army. Oh, guess it's been a while. Sorry about that, Gumpy. Need to get some end dust. Dear Strongbat, I was curious as to whether or not Strongbatia had an official army. Your homeboy, Hank Tola. Does Strong Valley have an army? It's probably just like Hank Toll or Hank Tolle or something, you know? Strong Valley needs no army, Hank Tola. Me and that one big guy and that one little guy or a one man army. Or a three man army. I think that's one. right. A three to one Marty? What I mean to say. I don't follow that one. What do we need? A <laughs> three to one Marty. A game played, a game made up by Lenny Sports Interviews. How to play Lin Marnie? <laughs> Sorry, three to man, three to one man, three to one Marnie. You know that? Three dice, three cards, one dice. I, th I think you could do something interesting with that. An army for when the three of us. Oh, here we go. Pick three cards. Roll one die. Whoever's the best hand moves ahead one space. The player to reach the end zone first wins. Okay, this, this, this is there you go. This, this, this is there you go. You know. It, it, it kind of throws the things on its head because normally you know it's you want the suits the suits rule and then the things that are above six are good um, but then you throw in the six sider dies and that changes everything because now yeah sure three of kings is great but you can get a four of twos which is better using the dice and then of course you know you can be a proper nerd like me and get that 12-sided die, which allows you to just, you know, start bringing in the, the suits. But really, you need a 13-sided die to carry them all in. But I think it's actually, you know, well, you can get 13-sided die. Sure, somebody's done it, even though even sides are always better. I think it's better to leave the king out there. You got that kind of gamble element, you know, going on to it. You know, the, the four kings versus, sorry, the three kings versus four queens. There's something to it. And then, of course, you got the whole thing where, you know, everybody on the West Coast always treats, uh, on the West, actually, hold on, reverse for something by the camera, right? Every, everyone on the West Coast, yeah, so I was right, I was right the first time on accident. Everyone on the West Coast, they always play like the ace is high, everyone on the East Coast plays like the, like the ace is low, everybody over in Europe plays like the gate, plays like the ace is wild. It's all thing. Pretty much do as we please. I mean, it's not like there's anyone around to oppose us. Q. Oh, my maggot, fall it out. Colonel Hope Star Wano is recruiting the <laughs> most elite team of crack commandos to invade Strong Batia. Oh, no. Do you have what it? Seriously, I, I, I have issues with the way Colonel is spelled. Because, like, apart from the C and the N... Those aren't the sounds that any of those letters make. Never mind the fact that in a bunch of places they call lieutenants lieutenants. Which I guess like it's supposed to be like your left your left hand man. Makes sense. This is my right hand, but the camera's reversed. Um that that makes sense, but like it's it's still spelled Lou. In lieu of a proper tenant, use your lieutenant. It takes to join the home stormy. Will you bring us the toilet tenant? That's also spelled different, but who cares? Cause Colonel's spelled wrong. Sack lunch and some orange slices for me and solve your country. Will you, stupid? Um, no. <laughs> I was in the ready room to just throw out stupid. <laughs> Uh, drill sergeants have to be so creative and he just says,
stupid. Oh, love it. Incidentally, have you seen uh, the, the female drill sergeant hat? Like, it's not, like, a lot of them have, like, the same hats, but, like, there's at least one, I forget, I forget if it's, like, the Army or the Navy or the Marines or something. Like, they got a whole different hat, which normally kind of bothers me. Like, the, the, the British police girl's hat is objectively better, but also kind of dumb and infantilizing to the male police guy's hat. But the drill sergeant female hat, that thing is stylish as heck. I have never seen a hotter hat. It's just, it's, it's just not fair. You know, yeah, the, 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 the guys are coming out there with a big whole army army thing like that. And, you know, it's, it's a classic look. It's a classic look. But it's because of that, it's also become a silly look. They come out with that hat and chases down and give me push-ups. And you're thinking, yes, I will go down so you can step on me. And then she goes, what? You go, what? And she goes, what? She says, push-ups. You do push-ups. You never say that again. You're never going to say that again. Don't really have think any it. interest in invading my own. Hey, Draft dodge away. Well, see. And then every woman or guy, you know, whoever really wants to have a nice hat, looking at her hat, like, how are you get down a hat? She's like, I joined the army. They're freaking join the army. They gotta learn. Oh, I gotta do all this stuff and become a drill sergeant to get that. But they're gonna. It's just a stylish as heckin' hat. See if those tweeds you always hug and save you when Gordon Lightfoot's creeping around your back. Who? Yeah. Company halt. He's Gordon Lightfoot. March. What? Oh, and if you change your mind, you want to trade in that score you're wearing for a nice. I know at least like one halfling fantasy character named Lightfoot, but I don't think his first name was Gordon. Demos. We're having a pep rally up in the stick in oh, 15 minutes. Wow. He made that floppy to skip. I thought right? I knew what the ridiculous was until this day. This definitely merits some further reconnaissance. The cheat. Well, to be fair. Calling your back porch a, pa a kingdom and claiming that you and your buds are an army is also kind of ridiculous. The chief, I need you to find out. Oh, don't make me call you that. It's not a good commando name. Uh, yeah, I guess technically we probably should have watched this one before seeing the chief commando stuff. I can swear a lot of the chief commando stuff came out before this. Oh, yeah, my strong, my home strong timelines, man. All messed up. Oh, all right. Firebird. I need you to find out what the crap Homestar Runner is up to at the stick in all 15 minutes. Incidentally, for how to tell military time, because they're going to try to teach you in fourth grade, at least in my fourth grade things, where they're going to teach you because they got a whole thing we got to be on a ship at port for two days. At least overnight, and they're gonna make you learn military time, and they're going to teach it to you wrong. They're gonna teach you like a whole math thing for it. It's really very simple. Put a dot, put a two dots, the, the colon, in between the first two and the second two numbers. If it's under 13, then you know the time. If it's above 13, just assume that the clock doesn't reset at 12 o'clock. Instead, it goes all the way up to 24 because sanity. So, you know, you, 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 you know, yes, the, yes, like, you'll still probably wind up doing the math, and I'll subtract 12, whatever, that really confused Phoebe Buffet that one time, but you'll understand what the heck they mean, why you're subtracting 12, because it, it's just regular time doesn't reset at 12 p.m., or 12 a.m. It's, it's actually really weird when you think about it, that 12 p.m., it's like, oh, it's 11.59 a.m., now it's 12 p.m., it's also really confusing when I think about it. Anyway. 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 Middle of the day, when you get to whatever the 12 is there, you just keep going because sanity. Most clocks in the world work this way. Okay? If you're watching an anime and it says, Oh, I need to be there at 4. In Japanese, they said 16. I think even in like... UK these days they'll say 16. I'm pretty. I know almost certain Germany they'd say 16. Okay, we're we're it. We, we say that because America's dumb. I think it's okay for me to say that America's dumb. Like so, if if you ever go there and you're looking at the clock, you're like, hey, why does the clock have smaller numbers that keep counting up? It's because they're sane. And what is military time? 
military time is just instead of saying o'clock and restarting at 12 p at 12 p.m you just keep counting up to 24 and then you restart in the middle of the night when it makes sense to restart are you sick and tired of playing second fiddle to a two-bit whistle band well yellow them. dog yeah! Are you ready to fight alongside your colonel <laughs> and give your five bucks to the home stormy if it comes to that? Yeah! Do you want to that fake some other cool color and put a fake beard on that tile? Kind of. Oh, sorry. Whoa! The painting of a guy with a knife? It's treachery. That man was born in Strong Badia. Born of Strong Badia. He was the symbol to get into Strong Badia. Really crazy you're not going to university. Like, it, it's, a, it's a dark day. I mean, this is... This is freaking... This is Oxford turning against London. Or wherever Oxford... Well, it's, it's Cambridge turning against Cambridge is what it is. Forgot to rewind. Yeah! <laughs> Also, not wearing a bucket. I, I, trying to my point at uh, home store might point it out. I forget. You gotta get yours. I gotta get mine. I like that. And incidentally, if his mil if his unit is only four people large, he's a sergeant. That that's what that means. That that's like specifically how many people are supposed to be under you if you're a sergeant in the military or something like that. I I've, I've been interested in military hierarchies recently. I saw one thing which claims like a sergeant has like four people under them, and the lieutenant has that many, and the captain has that many. A, a colonel has like thousand people or something under them. Ten thousand. Then maggots, let's get out there and invade us some serious strong badia. But this is also coming from the person who can never, for the life of them, remember if colonel becomes if colonel becomes before or after major. This is not gonna happen. It doesn't help that there's. That like major is its own rank, and yet it's also attached to other ranks. So, like, you'll have weird things where they have like the lieutenant major, the colonel, the colonel, the major colonel, and then just the regular old major. Like that. That's not quoting. That don't quote me there. But that's like, that's how it feels sometimes. Keeping track of these things. Company, go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is a good man. Well, I was gonna say that's. I I feel like a brigadier general should be above a regular general because you're adding something to it. I get that it means you're technically just the general of like a brigade, or something like that, or the the grenadiers. Or but like, yeah, if you add something to it, shouldn't that be higher? Maybe not Rear Admiral. That one makes sense. That's, that would be lower. And that Fleet Admiral would be above Regular Admiral. Like, that makes sense. But, like... Because nobody knows what Brigadier means anymore. And I'm almost confident that that is a case of, like, it's a, it doesn't mean anything really anymore. It used to really mean something, and now it only kind of means something. I mean, I, I'm, I can guarantee you Lethbridge Stewart was in charge of a brigade. I don't, I don't think that there was any paperwork in unit saying this is the brigade called unit, so it needs to be in, char in charge of by a brigadier general. I don't think maybe it was. Britain's weird like that. Strong bad. So I see you decided to join the other side, eh? What joining? I am the... Let's, they just let Homestar go past him. You just watch. Just keeps going. The other side, eh? What joining? I am the other side. Ten hut. Prepare to feel the fluoride sting of the home stormy. The fluoride Lord, sting. We'll be ours. No, it won't. We're about to play some badminton, so no invasion. Oh. Oh, I see. Which way? Fall back, men! We'll hit over our heads! Hold the line! Hold the line! And take this stupid thing with you! Huh? <laughs> this is why you wear a bucket on your head, Bayonetto! Oh, don't you die on me, Bayonetto! Not on my watch! Don't you give up! 
You never gave me the five bucks. It's coming to him for not wearing the helmet on his head. Bucket on his head. Hole on his head. Never need an army. Though we are in dire need of a copy of the official rules of battle. Oh, that's until the municipality comes after you. Mm. No idea what we're doing. Everyone who's already seen the sequel to this knows what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the municipality. Don't mess with the municipality. I joined the municipality. Fire burnt. It's terrible. Yeah. I mean, fire's good, but you include Bert. Mrs. Benedetto, my name is Colin L. Holmes Dalmato. I served with Frank in the Home Army at the Battle of Strongmania. I hate to give you this news. Frank was one of the finest fucking soldiers I ever met. The heck he was. He never wore his helmet. He appeared to that ar to the appeared to that battle out of uniform. He's a disgrace to the entire outfit. Because he wasn't even wearing the entire outfit. He wasn't wearing any of the outfit. He walked up to Strong Bay to plumb naked. What do you think was going to freaking happen to him, Colonel? And he still kind of owes me five bucks. So if you could just fork it over. Uh, I'm going that that's probably all Marty Pants equipment that he just broke playing his games. He's going to be in for it. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe, and be here freaking Monday for video games! Actually, some stuff might be happening Monday. I'm not sure I'll be able to record. But, like, Wednesday, definitely. Boom.